I first met Bill, the person in the photo, about 25 years ago. He was Global Head of Foreign Exchange Trading at Salomon Brothers. He was in my book, The Mind of a Trader. He was, uh, well rather his firm was, uh, Hedge Fund Manager of the Year about uh, four years ago. And this is what he said. And it shocked me because I expected when I met one of the world's leading fund managers, one of the world's leading traders, that he'd say they're right 80% of the time. They can move the markets, manipulate it. Of course, he wouldn't say that anyway. But uh, I was expecting him to say they get better insight than anyone else and all the rest of it. Actually, when he showed me the numbers and the data, uh, this was true. They're actually, and it's the same with George Soros. And if you look at his book, the alchemy of finance and he keeps a live real-time data you'll see he's wrong more often than he's right but the times he's wrong he makes more money than the times when he's wrong so when he's right he makes more money than when he's wrong same with bill he can make profits even if he's right 40 percent of the time so you might say well why doesn't he try being right more often <laughs> we would all wish to have a crystal ball so what is it that they're doing that they're making money despite being wrong so often? Well, the reason they're wrong so often is because they're like rabbits in scared headlights. They don't want big losses, so they take trades which are going against them out immediately. You might say too early. In actual fact, again, the data shows that when they held those trades for longer, yes, some of them did come back into profits, but more often than not, it made sense to have got out of those losses sooner rather than later, something which private investors don't do. They hold on to them too long, see some of them come up and think, oh, that means I must always hold on for longer. We're talking trading, not investing, remember. Uh, and so what the traders did is they had a lot of small losses. They didn't mind because it was the few big wins they were hunting for, the big gains that they were hunting for. And that was the essence of trading from him.